But we're going to do an unboxing of this, set this baby up, and see how well it works. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be reviewing the Audio Technica AT875R Shotgun Microphone. We're going to be doing an unboxing of this and testing it out on the Zoom F6. All right, we got the F6 a couple of weeks ago. Very excited to use this on our shoot on December 7th for Mafia War Chronicles. And we're going to give this a shot and see how well it picks up audio in a situation and we're going to be testing it out here today so let's get to it real quick it comes with instruction manuals manual rather it does require phantom power between 11 volts and 52 volts at 2 milliamp typical right just so you're aware uh, open circuit sensitivity is negative 30 db uh, frequency response is between 90 and 20,000 hertz. This is the AT87R, and without further ado, let's get this thing working. There we go. Now, this setting, the Zoom F6, is in 32-bit float. So we're going to hit record on it now. So you can clearly see we are recording on the Zoom. All right, so... The way I'm gonna test this microphone is that I am holding it instead, okay? I still have the other one going as well, but this recording is independent from the camera audio, just so you're aware. So I'm going to spin this microphone around and show you how this works. So I'm directly talking into it, but if I spin it around like so and continue talking, and just do a 360 degree turn and really find out how this microphone picks up my voice as I spin it around and see how directional it could be. And if it's not, we'll find out really shortly. Let me spin it back around because my wire is completely and completely utterly twisted at the moment now. And now we're back. Well, let's do one more time and we're talking and that is it. So... Hopefully that showed us how awesome it is. Now I'm going to scream a little bit and see how it goes. But remember, screaming has to do with the Zoom F6 and, his ca and its capabilities. It has nothing to do with the microphone. But if it's clean and clear, that's great. And that'll be it. So um, I'm going to... I already listened to this microphone and I happen to think it's really, really good. Um... It's specifically designed for, you know, movie taking, that kind of stuff. It's a shotgun microphone. It's designed to point directly to the subject. And the audio technician will point the microphone to whichever person is talking. So if it's this person on this side or if this person on this side. And that's the purpose of a shotgun microphone. Capiche? <laughs> so we'll stop that there. Now we're back on to this audio here. And so anyway, I'm going to, I happen to like this microphone. It's super light. It doesn't weigh anything. Uh, I like the fact, you know what? I do want to check out one thing now. Well, let's do another take. So I'm going to blow into this. And I really think that this foam thing don't do crap, especially in the wind. So we're still going to hear it. I'm not, I'm thinking it's more of the p -p 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 sounds that you don't hear, but then again, I think this is just for show. I think these foam screens don't do anything at all, but that's just me. So, um, anyway, the, the uh, I do have other things going. The computer is off in here, but I do have the heater on above me. It's definitely coming out. So if this microphone picked it up, we'll definitely hear it. I have no idea because I'm doing this review, but we're going to give it a shot. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.